how's it going guys welcome to my third fishing from shore video and today we're off a of hexer drive a little different than the first two episodes I actually bought some live bait today bought a half pint of fiddlers and one dozen mud minnows uh, hoping to increase our chances of catching something big even though we're not keeping everything's gonna be catch and release but just want to have a little fun i've always wanted to visit this particular spot here but just never done it but today's the day and i have some high hopes that this spot will produce some good fish but we'll see gonna make our way down here i think this is the right way i'm not sure we used to be able to fish on the bridge up ahead right there but i think ever since um hurricane did some damage to the road they kind of shut everything down top of the high tide right now i think it should be starting to flow out in a little bit okay this is a good way to go just gotta be careful not to slip nobody out here sweet I stop somewhere along here but eventually I want to make my way further to the left okay so we're just gonna go with a simple jig head and just gonna put the mud minnow straight on all you gotta do is Put the hook right through the bottom lip, up through the top lip, just like that. <clears throat> Toss it way out there and then slowly retrieve it, bouncing it off the bottom or dragging it along the bottom. It's already an outgoing tide. So what I'm gonna do is toss my bait up current and let the tide drift it down with the current. That way you can cover more ground. fish oh it's a flounder just got a flounder guys yep he's on there just give him time to eat I'm using live bait let's make sure he swallows that mud minnow or at least gets it all the way in his mouth gonna set the hook in three Two, one. There we go. Yeah. It's not a bad one. Oh, man. That's a good flounder. But that is a good ass flounder right there. Let's see if I can get the hook out without hurting him. We'll release him.
Check that out, guys. Yeah, he swallowed it. Oh. Didn't plan to keep fish, but I don't think I can save this guy's life. He swallowed it. Don't even need to measure it. For sure, it's a keeper. No doubt about it. There he is, guys. Gonna put some water in the bucket. Try the creek side. it for spot number one all we got was that one flounder but we still have some time I'm gonna head to spot number two next I'm gonna work my way back to the truck and uh, see you guys in a bit when I get to spot number two just arrived at spot number two and here we should be able to fish for sheep's head and whatever else we eat a mud minnow trout redfish flounder probably just a little walk and we'll be there in a second see you guys in a bit okay guys for spot number two let's see if we can get some sheep's head Shallow.
guys we're at spot number three spot number two was terrible didn't stay long at all but i knew i wasn't gonna catch any sheep set there so i just left this spot i've been to before and i know there's sheep set here and since i got the fiddlers i'm gonna give my best shot again it's a little walk but not too bad it's been a while since i've been here though probably over a year so it could be totally different but we'll see i'll be there in a second so see you guys in a bit okay he made it Not even a bite, guys. Place has changed. Oh, that's it for me today, guys. Not even a bite over here. It's getting kind of late. I need to get home. Still a ton of fiddlers left. Just gonna let them go. Nass are biting like crazy. Just need to get out of here. Let's climb up these rocks again. Thanks for joining me as always. This is uh, day one. It's gonna be a multi-day episode. Two days at least maybe three days but we'll see and it's going to be all land-based fishing so overall very slow day basically one fish all day or you can even say one bite all day now, i'm not sure it's because of the tide or what or these spots are just no good all right guys thanks for joining me again next time you see me it's gonna be a different day different spot so peace all right we're back out here guys it's a windy day but i have all day to fish today so we're gonna do a little exploring on foot and this is our first stop today i've always wanted to fish this spot but never had the opportunity but today we're going to do it and i think it's a flounder spot that's what i'm really hoping for got a little walk ahead of us just got my one set up right now have another one in the car in case I go for sheeps later, but just gonna throw artificial and it's gonna be all catch and release. Trying to travel light, just got my backpack and my rod and just hoping to find some fish. So let me make my way over there. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we made it here. We're almost, it's right up ahead right here. I believe it's the last two hours of the outgoing tide, so it'll be perfect. I think it'd be perfect for flounder right now, too. We'll start way down here, then we'll walk our way back. Just want to cover as much water as I can.
might have one guys might have one yeah got one is it a flounder oh yeah it's a nice one I guess correctly they're out here Send them back home. There he goes. Okay, that was our last cast. No other bites. So we're going to get out of here. Head to the second location for today. It's going to be another spot I found on Google Maps. That looks a little promising. Let's hope we can find it though. I didn't really see a road leading to it. So we might have to do a little bit of hiking. guys spot number two for today again never been here studied google maps and looked like a good place to fish i don't know why each time i do these shore videos i find myself in the middle of the jungle with nobody around and always tons of mosquitoes but up ahead i see something I see a little opening maybe we can fish Oh yeah, this looks promising. This is what I was looking for. Oh yeah, look at this guys. A little secret lagoon back here. Maybe some fish trapped in here, let's see. I bet you on a higher tide, there's reds in here. Hey, right now it's dead low. Wow, look at that. Yeah, there will definitely be fish in here on a higher tide. We don't see anything trapped back here, so we'll work our way out towards the creek here. Super cool place. Oh, look at this wall up here. Give it a few casts with the rope. Maybe we can find a red. Good. Fish on guys. I think this is called a uh, robin fish. I'm not sure if they're poisonous or not though. There he goes. Let's walk over here to this little creek mouth since the water's still outgoing. Fish right there. Okay, we might have found something. 
no. Okay, just found some fish, guys. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> Decent size, it's a red. I think it's a red. Hell yeah, there's fish out here. Not a slot, but still, we found one. Okay, let's get back. There you go, buddy. It's gotta be more. Another one. Whoa, it's a big old flounder. Hell yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Damn. Check that out, guys. That's not a bad flounder at all. Probably about 16, 17 inches. Okay, let's get it back. There he goes. Hell yeah. All right, guys, we're done with spot number two. Managed to get one red, one flounder. Had a few other bites, but couldn't connect. But I think this spot is very good because it was dead low tide and the fish there were still some fish in there so i'm wondering if i got here a little earlier like three uh, three four hours probably would have caught a bunch more so i'll definitely be back here it is a bit of a walk and tons of mosquitoes but i think it might be worth it i'll give another try another day but we've got one more spot for the day and that'll do it for this video I'm gonna head back to the truck now see you guys in a bit guys third and final spot of the day maybe give it 30 minutes to an hour see if i can complete my slam for the day just need one trout see you guys when we start fishing Might even be able to fish for some sheep's head real quick since I got some fiddlers. But I really want that trout.
fish. Okay, that's it guys. <clears throat> Overall, not a bad day. Would have had two keeper flounder. And that's never a bad day when you catch a couple of flounder. As usual, thanks for joining me. Thanks for supporting the channel. And keep your eyes out for the next shore fish. Not sure where it's gonna be yet, but I'm thinking either the Arlington area or the concrete jungle fishing downtown. See you in the next one guys.